A for the final and last part. Now, how do we review the work that has been done by student and submitted online? And to do this, we simply need to uh, go into uh, documents. And once uh, you hit documents, right? Okay, uh, you will be able to see uh, a whole list of what uh, things that students have done. All right. Now, this is how um, the documents will look like. Okay, now what I'm showing you is an actual piece of online lesson that I have given my student on various topics. So this was done in March, uh, earlier March uh, this year. So it was being dispatched to um, a few uh, students. In fact, I used this and dispatched work to almost all my students in uh, the different classes. So if you go to, for example, um, one of the work, I can click on uh, to any of them. All right. So, um, okay. okay, let's take a look at uh, question number uh, 14. Okay, on um, social harmony. Okay, so this is a work done by the student, by the name of Timothy. Uh, plus 4 to 14 of March uh, he wrote uh, this as his answer and um, the question is really about to what extent is safeguarding the interests of local minority groups the most crucial aspect of managing ethnic diversity in Singapore so yes this is his answer and it's being reviewed right by another student who gave him <laughs> a lot of level 2 as you can see here right it's being marked uh, uh, 3 out of 6 by Jaren okay and yep so it didn't do very well All right okay as you can see there's also the um in the same document i have uh three two students working on it so another student uh, actually wrote uh, the part about ethnic diversity because if you look at this question we know that another given factor about managing ethnic diversity in singapore is really um uh, through building a national identity, right? And this is made up of compulsory uh, schooling, bilingualism, the use of English, and so on. So this is being done by another student and being reviewed by another student. So this is an example of one uh, document that is being um, uh, reviewed by two students and four students collaborated on a document. Amazing, isn't it? So uh, as a teacher, what I can do is maybe I can put a comment here. All right, uh, dear Timothy, okay, um, I think that uh, your explanation, all right, can be better supported uh, if you uh, give a, a, a good example to back up your points. Alright, uh, you may want to consider, sorry, you may want to consider, okay, uh, citing uh, an example from Sri Lanka, where, Sri Lanka, where uh, ethnic minorities uh, were not uh, given uh, the rights uh, to express their differences and so on and so on and so on. So I can give him comment, I could sign off as Mr. K and uh, in, in similar fashion, right, I could just, what normally I do is I would just save. Okay, and I can repeat again, right, I can give comments to everybody and what I can do is um, I can uh, email uh, the file again out Alright, to the people involved, right? And it's a similar process. Okay, I can email. Um, if, if I know the students, I can actually uh, simply just uh, go here, Timothy. Alright, he will come out again. And I could, if I know all four of the students, I can put uh, play. Alright, I can put everybody's name here. And uh, I can say, okay, people. Okay, please see my comments uh, inside the document 
Alright, I can uh, attach the item uh, itself into the email. Okay, and I can send a copy to myself. And then I press send. And everybody who has contributed to this uh, document will get uh, the teacher's comment inside. Now I hope uh, this short uh, video tutorial hasn't been too complicating. Uh, I do love uh, comment and feedback. And if you have any uh, problems uh, sending assignment to your student, please uh, let me know. You can contact me at my MOE icon address. Uh, feel free, you know, to have various uh, permutations uh, of this uh, document. And as you can see, right, uh, this is uh, really useful for whole uh, list of uh, assignment. I have uh, configured this to do almost a lot of assignments for different students, and you could actually. Uh, save the same assignment, and but you can dispatch it to different uh, uh, students and so on and so on in different classes. You can even consider having a student from one class working on the given factor, and another student uh, reviewing it. And the reviewer may also be doing a given factor on another topic, and another student might uh, review it, and so on and so on and so on. So that would be interesting, right? So thank you for uh, listening to this video tutorial. I hope you have a lot of. Uh, Managing experience working this out with your student and may all our students benefit from this. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.